Hello everybody, I'm Gideon. This is Bob. Bob's a dummy. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Bob has about a million times more intelligence and intellect and nuance in his, in his body than the entire ANC possesses on a hot day. Because they've all got fucking room temperature IQs. This is Footsack ANC Friday. Whiskey Friday is unfortunately cancelled uh, because I'm heading out of town to support a tourism business in a game lodge that hasn't had customers and hasn't been allowed to open for about five to six months thanks to lockdown provincial borders have now recently opened and they've recently been allowed to open up as accommodation by our benevolent overlords who care so much for our welfare and the welfare of their subjects international travel unfortunately still hasn't happened but uh, since these people have and a lot of lodges and a lot of these tourism industries have given ridiculous specials in order to try and keep themselves alive and keep their staff employed and cover their overheads it's not sustainable, but at least it's something and some way to give back and some way to support them and hopefully, in a way, can help them cover these costs. So if you can afford to go away, in a weird, bizarre way, it's a responsible and good thing to do. But more on that later. Just in case you think this week couldn't get stupider, the ANC government, Department of Health, has issued a directive that any natural deaths that occur outside of a hospital requires a COVID-19 test before the death certificate will be issued. Of course, this is not gonna cause any shit, will it? I mean, we've got so many doctors with so much spare time and we've got so many testing kits just lying around unused. I mean, there was no shortage of COVID-19 testing kits. Still isn't, right? I mean, it's not wasteful at all to do these tests on people who are already fucking dead. And uh, there's about 33,000 natural deaths a month 1,100 natural deaths a day. All these natural deaths, if they don't happen in a hospital, must be tested by a doctor for COVID-19 before the death certificate can be issued. And usually death certificates are issued by the general practitioner within 48 hours of death. So what's gonna happen now? Hospitals and mortuaries are gonna be clogged by dead bodies. Bereaved families who've already lost a loved one will not be able to get closure and get the funeral ceremonies going. Funeral companies and undertakers are going to struggle to do their jobs. It's going to cause a health crisis because we're going to have thousands upon thousands of decomposing bodies lying all over the place because they're not allowed to be released to the undertakers. They're not allowed to be buried until uh, overworked, understaffed and scarce doctors take valuable time out of their busy days, uh, which are clearly not busy enough, according to the Department of Health, to do COVID-19 tests on people who are already fucking dead. Um, it's astounding to me the level of criminal incompetence that we are forced to live under with this ANC government because obviously they now need to add COVID-19 deaths to their, their figure of, of COVID-19 deaths already. They need to add some new deaths to it so that the models and the modeling and the modelers that they relied on for lockdown don't look the complete idiotic, unscientific twats that they are and that the ANC themselves don't look like a bunch of criminally incompetent nincompoop fuckwits who destroyed the entire economy, the livelihoods of millions and the futures of tens of millions more by this disastrous lockdown that everyone told them they can't afford, they can't do, and that's not going to work, and that's a complete fuck up. No, 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 no. Now we need to go find dead bodies, posthumously test them for COVID-19 and add them to the list of statistics, because if you die with any trace of the virus in you, that's now going to be what killed you, regardless of what it is. If it's a natural death, you died of COVID. What complete criminal bullshit and they in typical ANC fashion where they don't think further than their noses uh, there is absolutely no regard to the unintended consequences of forcing this on people but in any event enough about that I mean it's been one of those weeks positive note um, another industry well it's not an industry another organization a group of organizations that have suffered heavily on lockdown under lockdown are animal charities and cases of neglected abandoned Abused animals have, have skyrocketed under lockdown and due, uh, due to the economic consequences thereof. So animal charities are really overworked and overwhelmed at this stage. And the best thing you can do now is to adopt a shelter animal. If you can't do that, then it's understandable that many people are not in a position to adopt a shelter animal. You can foster, you can donate time, you can donate money, you can help with fundraising. I recommend getting in contact with your nearest animal charity, animal shelter, speaking to them about what their needs are and seeing what you can do to help. And that's my positive message for the weekend. Stay safe, see you all soon and have a fantastic rest.
of your weekend.